Good day everybody from Oz Mining. Just a very quick update again as I'm uh, working through my cards and uh, trying to improve the efficiency cooling uh, with replacing thermal pads and thermal paste. This is a Gigabyte RTX 2070 and here are just I guess the three main components is the, the front piece heat sink and fans. Here's the main board and that's the back plate. Uh, this model does have thermal pads both inside on the the main board which go onto the heatsink and also on the on the back plate as well. These were the ones which actually give me the most headache. They were um, leaking quite a lot and uh, going everywhere all over the card and the temperatures were going a little bit crazy on this card. So, so just walking you through very quickly, uh, on the memory you need 0.5mm thermal pads, so very thin. Then on this uh, slightly higher one here, I think it's on the VRAM there, you need 1.5 mil. And then all the other little thin skinny ones are one mil. And on the back plate, you have options. So uh, basically it's sort of between 2.5 and 3 mil. Now I'm using the uh, Gelid Ultimate and also I think it's Gelid, uh, yeah, Extreme Thermal Pads. Um, and I had both uh, 2.5, and and three mil now i just put them against the old pads here and i found that 2.5 mil was the closest match so i've gone 2.5 mil uh again if that doesn't work i can always take them out and put in a three mil so so that one there is and if you go on uh forums you'll see that says two and a half stroke three mil so it just depends on what pads you have how squished they are etc um, but i've gone 2.5 mil so let's go through it one more time On the memory, it's 0.5 mil thermal pads. On the VRAM, so it's the highest one there and the slightly widest one, it's 1.5 mil. The other three skinny ones there are one mil thermal pads and on the back plate, I've used 2.5 mil thermal pads. And uh, I'm gonna then be using some, this is my preferred uh, thermal paste. It's uh, to a NT H2. It works really well for me. So yeah, so I hope you found that useful as I am just uh, doing some work on this RTX 2070. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.